tonight I plan as yesterday I said to do uh, deliverance service but this morning we had a lengthy deliverance section from 11 to 4 so I'm a little bit exhausted so but God immediately came up with another plan and I add, it, it, it seems as though God wants to empower his children to fulfill destiny this year when I was coming one thing God was saying is that I should not even dare, I might not reduce it a little bit, I should not even dare to even do anything in the physical this year. And that goes to you and I, every child of God. Don't even try to do anything with your own strength, with your wisdom, your experience, your technical know-how. Don't even, because you will not prosper. You will not make it, because everything that needs to be shaken will be shaken things will fall apart and so you have to learn to live and walk in the supernatural the supernatural dimension of divine grace though you are working but you know that it is not the work that is sustaining you do you understand though you have money but you know that it is not that which takes care of you your soul confidence is in Yahweh Jehovah God says that don't even dare, don't try it, to enter into this year to fulfill your purpose, your visions, your dream, your resolution by your own strength. You will not make it because the turbulence, the storms that will be raging in this year, you cannot stand it. But if you walk in the supernatural, Amen. divine grace, divine assistant. Angels were constantly flapping their wings to assist you. The eyes of the Lord will be going through and fro to strengthen you as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem. So the Lord will surround you and go every length to make sure that his word, his word, his purpose for your life this year come what the challenge Come what your enemies, come what the obstacles, come what the difficulties. He will make good his purpose for your life. So all I want to tell you that don't dare. Touch your neighbor and say, dare not. Dare not. Dare not. Dare not. Dare not. Pursue your purpose. Pursue your, purpose. Pursue your vision. Pursue your vision. Pursue your vision. By your own strength. By your own strength. Rely, Rely on the supernatural. The supernatural. The supernatural. Grace of God. And you will make it. And you will make it. You will survive this year too. To the shame of the devil. Amen. That is a word God just gave me before I came. And I pray that somebody will take this word in. I want us to be on our feet. Go and grab the hands of somebody. The Bible says that when two or three gather in my name, I am in their midst and whatever two agree upon, whatever they bind on earth, I want it to be in twos. Just try and grab a partner in the spirit. Somebody who's you are going to agree and whatever you agree is going to have an effect in your life. When two agree touching anything, whatever they bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What you are about to do with this Christian brother or sister, heaven is going to endorse it. Heaven is going to agree to it. Heaven is going to hold everything you guys say together and do it for you. Whatever you buy will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose will be loose. So have the hands of somebody and he or she is going to be your prayer partner for about 10 minutes. The first prayer is that you are going to pray. Love that pray. Open your mouth and pray for that person. The Lord let your will say let your will let your will let your will, let your will. Let your will. Be, done. be done concerning this brother concerning this sister, concerning this sister. Concerning this sister. as it is in heaven as it is in heaven father let your kingdom father let your kingdom let your purpose let your be established, established in her life this year let your kingdom let your will let your let your prophetic oracles concerning my brother come to pass this year. Let your will be done, oh God. Begin to pray. Begin to pray for your brother.
harassment, lead, deliver them from evil, witchcraft, hexes, oppressions of the devil, arrows against them, deliver them from evil. May they escape, may they escape the shafts of your enemy. You are going to pray that Father, deliver my brother, deliver my sister from evil. Let them be covered by the blood and let the angel of the Lord flap their ways and draw their swords and protect their year round. Deliver them from evil in their marriage. Deliver them from evil from their finances. Deliver them from evil concerning their children. Deliver them from evil concerning their health. Deliver them from evil. Pray for your brother and sister. Let's begin to go to all. 